When a line intersects with a circle at two points, b squared minus 4ac of the quadratic equation mixed with the equation of the straight line is larger than zero, whatever. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite movies and today I'm gonna do the second last video in my list week 2016 and I'm gonna talk about the worst movies of 2016. Yeah, um, there are actually a lot of shitty movies in 2016, um, more than I have anticipated, and uh, I'm just gonna narrow it down to 10, but with a lot of dishonorable mentions, like a lot. By the way, uh, I don't want to offend anyone, so uh, these are just my opinions, okay? But yeah, there are a lot of bad movies. Before we get into the dishonorable mentions, I'm just gonna do the mentions. I'm just gonna mention movies. Uh, Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice is really disappointing. The Huntsman Winter's War is not a serious movie. Inferno is a pretty disappointing movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. Uh, I Nobody takes it seriously either. Same goes for the Angry Birds movie. Ghostbusters remake is not necessary, it's uncalled for, and London has fallen. Uh, it's actually not that terrible, but it's just kind of average, maybe a little bad, a little worse than average. Uh, you know, still not that bad. Um, Dirty Grandpa is, uh, eh. Uh, I mean, it's not like the worst thing ever, it's not terrible. But uh, it's not one of the best Robert De Niro movies. Yeah, Robert De Niro really needs to star in a good movie. And uh, Mechanic Resurrection is um, pretty much the same. Uh, and there are also a bunch of other movies that I'm not listing. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Uh, the Ben-Hur remake is is pretty garbage. Not, not liking it. <laughs> because it's just ridiculous. You know, it's like... Uh, butterflies and rainbows and unicorns and it's it's just ridiculous it's bad uh meet the blacks is unfunny it's awkward and it's boring the fifth wave is even more boring and it's another really cheesy cliche trite teen movie that uh, you should not invest your time in independence day resurgence is even more unnecessary of a movie Yes, it's a sequel to Independence Day, yet it flops. It's a huge mess. There are a bunch of storylines that totally make zero sense whatsoever. Also, the movie Masterminds is one of the uh, least funny comedies in 2016. Uh, but yeah, let's get to the top 10, okay? Let's get to the top 10. At number 10, I'm going to give it to The Darkness, uh, which is uh, sort of a horror movie about a haunted house starring Kevin Bacon and that's all you need to know because nothing really happens in the movie. There are all these characters but they basically do nothing, they go nowhere and it's a really cliche horror movie that you've probably watched a million times. And then at number nine, Yoga Hosters, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's a downright ridiculous movie with uh, an outrageous plot about two teenage girls I, I think they are teenagers right about two adolescent girls fighting evil entities and it's just you know you can't take it seriously because it's just really bad and really ridiculous and also same goes for my my hair it's really bad <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, at number eight, it's shut in because it is one of the most boring horror movies ever. These dialogue scenes that are so unnecessary, so long winded, a lot of fake jump scares. Uh, <laughs> like, 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 why would you try to scare the audience? And the scare is fake. Like, you can do that once if you're trying to be playful. But if you do that, like, 20 times, it's it's not cool anymore. And, uh, yeah, a lot of dream sequences. Uh, 
And then after that, uh, we have Assassin's Creed. It's, uh, it's another video game movie that's an absolute flop. Not only is it boring, not only does nothing really happen, but it's also a really dumb movie. Like, everyone just acts in the most unrealistic way ever. And, uh, you know, Michael Fassbender, Mayon Cotillard, they are good actors. They're great actors. They're legendary actors. What are they doing here? Are they, like, blackmailed to be on this thing? Okay, now we're at the number six spot. I'm going really fast. Uh, when the Bow Breaks. Uh, yeah, this movie... Okay, it's about a guy and an, and his girlfriend or his wife and uh they can't have kids so the guy needs a surrogate mother and the surrogate mother gets mad and gets jealous and now we have a horror movie a thriller movie yeah you've probably watched this movie like 10,000 times before because the producers of this movie actually had made the same movie four times already and maybe five after this movie who knows but yeah basically the same old plot uh yeah basically that's that's it and you know don't even start on the dialogues and the the, the plot itself they're just kind of dumb a lot of characters doing dumb decisions saying dumb lines and none of them feel realistic all of them feel lazy sloppy and very poorly written and um it's just it's just really bad and the ending just wow why are you so dumb why are you so dumb anyway here is the top five worst movies of 2016 at number five it is uh the disappointments room it is uh, disappointing and uh yeah um nothing ever happens similar to shut in except what makes this movie even more irritating is that um, it, it feels even more empty and less scary than Shut In in a lot of ways. And also, sometimes when it tries to be scary, it just ends up as not making sense at all. And there's really no point in watching this movie. There's literally nothing interesting about the plot, nothing interesting about the the premise. This family live lives in an in an old house, and then there's the attic, and the attic is kind of creepy. And that's basically it. I can't even relate to the family because I I've never really lived in a house before. I mean, technically, I never really lived in a house. Actually, I kind of have, but, you know, that's like, just, you know, whatever. <laughs> and at number four, uh, what? The most head-scratching movie of 2016, Fifty Shades of Black. Again, I'm sorry if I've offended anybody, but this movie is not good. It is a spoof movie of Fifty Shades of Grey. And, you know, it's a spoof movie. It's supposed to be trash. And it is indeed trash. Like, like, all these jokes are so unfunny. They're so forced. And it's like an SNL sketch. Sketch. An, an SNL sketch. But with more budget. And is more awkward. Because it's about sex and stuff. And yeah, so unfunny. So gross. So so uh uninteresting at number three one of the most atrocious things to ever happen in cinema uh uh well one of the most atrocious movies in kevin spacey's filmography at least it's nine lives it's about a family and the dad is a really rich and powerful businessman and you know, he always ignores his wife and his daughter. And one day he wants to buy a cat for his daughter. And he ends up being the cat. And first of all, it's unfunny. It's dumb. And not even in a way where, you know, kids would enjoy it. Kids wouldn't enjoy it. Because the ending is 
<laughs> the ending of the movie is definitely not for kids, and the way it turned out is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, how unrealistic can it get? And, uh, yeah, everyone's just phoning in, and the movie, nobody's really taking the movie seriously, and now we have this unfunny, awkward, cringy mess that feels totally sloppy. And then after that, at number two, um, yeah, it's garbage. I mean, number two and number one, these two movies are pretty much equally as bad in my opinion, but I dislike one of them slightly more. But yeah, anyway, the, the second place, it's, it's, uh, it's Gods of Egypt. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's about, you know, this, this good guy, and, you know, this good guy was the king of, of Egypt or something, and he wants to, you know, give the throne to, to his son, and then, um, and then, uh, suddenly the the uncle hopped in and destroyed everything and now the son is in trouble and this other random guy tries to help the son and the son's love interest i think yeah anyway it's a it's a mess it's a big mess about egyptian mythology which is a really cool thing egyptian mythology is a cool thing how how did they manage to make it so cringy and so ridiculous? It, it's not even like interesting at all. The CGI of the thing is is impressively bad. Basically, uh, nothing makes sense. And yeah, of course, it's gods of Egypt. How does it make sense? But I'm but I'm talking about like plot wise, like characters decisions like nothing makes sense no one's taking the movie seriously it's like the mortal Kombat movie it's ridiculous don't watch it and, well actually watch it for a laugh if you want to laugh and the number one movie <laughs> like originally i wasn't gonna put this movie so high on this list or, or low in this case but after I watched it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, it's just so bad. Like, I'm just this, like, oh my gosh, like, ugh, like puke. <laughs> I want to puke after I watched this movie. It's Norm of the Friggin' North. You know, it's a kid's movie. It's a cartoon. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be family friendly. It's supposed to be kind of dumb. I get it. But this movie is so so dumb so idiotic <laughs> not even kids would enjoy it like the first scene for example norm a a twerking polar bear in in the south pole decided to hunt for some fish and he ends up on this icy roller coaster like how how did you get from hunting for fish to this and other than norm who is completely uninteresting who's a total dumbass super dislikable we have these three hamsters who don't even talk and who's always on screen for no good reason they only destroy things and ruin things and then we have the ending which is downright ridiculous it's downright stupid actually the entire plot the entire premise is already ridiculously dumb it's about norm the polar bear trying to stop a, a land developer from building houses in the friggin south pole Wh what what like at least come up with a story that is a little better at least come up with something a little more believable how could you go to, to this like uh, like wh what is this what is this i don't know and apparently there's like a sequel to this movie which is uh i mean oh my gosh I, I don't know what to say i don't know what to say it's a really bad movie i hate it so yeah these are the worst movies of 2016 like if you like them, hate if you hate them, subscribe if you want more, 
and thanks for watching. Also, these are just my opinions, so don't get all mad over it, okay?